have most of our steps completed. We've signed up, created our product templates, connected our store, and added our products to our store. Here in Printful, the next thing to do is take care of billing. Now, if you click on add a billing method, you'll notice that you come to the billing methods section where you need to fill in information very similar to what you do on the Webflow store. You'll have to make sure that this is appropriate for your particular store and for your country of origin. You can go ahead and fill out all of this information and add in all of the billing details that you would need. If you notice on the navigation over here on the left, the billing section is quite detailed and has a lot of different information. We're not going to go through all of the details in this particular tutorial, but you are going to need to have a billing method set up for your orders to process. So be sure that you're paying particular attention to the how does billing work section here on Printful site. This will ensure that you set up the billing information correctly for your store. For most smaller stores, you would just need to add a billing method, but there are alternatives and additional things such as the Printful wallet and information on uh, VAT, taxes, and all of those different things. So be sure that you take some time and walk through the billing section in detail for your Printful store. A couple of other things we wanna take care of here in Printful. So let's go back to our dashboard. Order samples is the last step here, but I want to make sure that we have done everything we need to do with our store. So let's click on stores and go ahead and hit view store. Let's click on settings and be sure that we have everything here that we would like to have set. So you can go ahead and rename your store here, add in the website. You can use this section um, for the default selling preferences. So your region, if you're not selling worldwide, this is where you would want to change it. So if you're only selling to the country that you live in, I live in the US, I would just send that, put that here. Um, you know, delivery time requirements, you can adjust those particular things. And anytime you make a change, just go ahead and hit save. This is also where you can remove the store. Just be cautious if you want to do that because as it states, there's no way to go back. So if you need to make any store adjustments, and especially in terms of selling region, be sure that you do that here. The next thing we want to look at with our store is shipping and the shipping options that you would like to use. Now, uh, in terms of Printful and Webflow, as of the time of this recording, they only offer flat rate shipping through Webflow. So that may have changed. You'll need to check with Printful to be sure if that information is updated. But as you can see, you have options to add express or overnight delivery um, on domestic or international shipping in the US to Canada and Europe. So you're going to want to uncheck whatever you're not wanting to offer. If you're including flat rate shipping in the cost of your product, you want to be sure that you are unchecking some of these other options so your profit is as you would anticipate it to be. So once you've made those changes, go ahead and hit save. If you need to calculate shipping rates for your store, there are lots of different ways to get there. But one of them is here on how to calculate and set up shipping rates on the storefront. Printful does offer this handy guide that lets you know how much they are charging for the first product and additional products for shipping. And it's broken down pretty significantly. So depending on what you're selling, you're going to want to take some time and go through this particular section to be sure that you're pricing your products appropriately. Once you have everything set up in Printful in terms of shipping and billing, you need to make sure that all of that matches in Webflow as well so that everything is shipping accordingly. So here you're going to want to come down to settings, the little gear icon and click shipping. Just be sure that shipping is on and it is for the applicable region. Remember, you can always add a different shipping zone if you're shipping to multiple regions. You're also going to need to have payment connected and a hosted site in order to make your site live. The last thing you want to be sure is that all of your emails are set up as well. Remember, now that we have physical products, you're going to want to be sure that you are notified about refunded emails, shipment confirmations, as well as the other basics of orders being received. Once you have Webflow all set up and Printful all set up, you're ready to start selling your products. Can't wait to see what you create.